All right, it's important for me to maintain a biography presence, whether it be, um, you know, written, a social media video, had some distractions in this 2016 year that I have to deal with um, that began towards the end of 2015, targeted and employment type of situation, still, still dealing with it, um, just kind of recovered from it, uh, from decisions made that had me in debt, had to battle it out with the pills and um, false allegations, and so, um, you know, I'm still at a loss on the time invested and so forth, um, um, claims and so forth from that situation. Um, of course, they should be liable for hiring me and wasting my time, um, have another opportunity, but... You know, as far as my capabilities, entrepreneurially, as far as um, um, philanthropic, as far as the Pan-African, I have to maintain a, a, a video presence when you look at the media and what's going on with brothers and situations. You have to have clarity as much as possible, you know, because situations could be manipulated. I already had the song, there's more sides to every story. More sides in all these tales. Can't believe what they say in these stories. Can't believe everything they're gonna sell. So, I've been aware of this, and you have that coming to pass in a lot of these situations. You can analyze it, you know, from an affirmation. In the case of Gavin, the brother from Missouri, you know, I like to look at it from an affirmation point of view. I'll touch you on that um, later. Um, but it could also be a situation where your, your presence, your biological presence can be manipulated. Of course, he was attesting to that. And of course, other people, um, we know once they're deceased, the main thing that's done is the manipulation of what they stood for and sound bites. Sound bites are associated with, with the... Um, you know what they stood for that will fit most likely the status quo and so um you know i don't want to be associated with that uh, i'm a pan-african um I, of course i have to work for a living um i'm uh, entrepreneurial i want to get back into that full time but at the same time i'm not going to be vulnerable because i have to work to get back to where i was entrepreneurially where i'm on a full-time basis working for myself um but at the same time, I'm, I'm not afraid and I'm transparent, I'm consistent, um, and I have other uh, contributions in the arts as an MC. Um, and I definitely don't want to limit my opportunities to network with other people. Um, and, and what you don't want to allow is, you know, it's going to be situations where when you look at the violence that's associated with the Indians and some brothers, like you can say like the guy with long, you know. Um, I have a lot of similarities to him as far as success, quick success that I had in the military, um, uh, being articulate, um, um, sharing a lot of philosophies, and you don't know, you know, if the brother did it, I would say it's an affirmation in that, you know, you, you, it's going to be some, some retribution. You can't expect uh, continued violence and no retribution. Um, but I think when you study his capabilities intellectually, I feel as though the amount of people that he can impact, and he said that in one of his statements when he said as far as the separation from him and 7 billion people is, you know, when you make that type of separation, then you know the type of contribution. And one of his brothers, I believe, they said, stated that, you know, it's not worth it. You know, and I won't say our people is not worth sacrifice. But um, I believe he could be a general in a war. So why would he just go send himself off in a sense? You know, it could be a situation where that brother could have been kidnapped. And then because you make certain statements and you don't, and, and there's no clarity in him saying, hey, I'm not about to go shoot some shit up right now. You know, you know, you got to make those types of statements. Or I'm not interested in doing that. You know, that's not... You know, I have an impact that can be socioeconomic because of what I'm giving, because of my capabilities in this, that, and the third. I saw him advertising it with his book sales. You know, and I saw him going hard on that and the devotion to that, which would lead me to believe that's 
a likely scenario of his ambitions more so than what transpired, you know. Uh, the conspiracy theory for me would be in that situation is was he really the gunman you know because you know all the videotapes was that he was masked the gun the shooter was masked you know so if the shooter's masked you know you have the type of ground that's covered I saw the the deputy or so forth from Baton Rouge give a, a, a counting of what occurred and the, the amount of ground that's covered, you know, from the parking lots to, I believe it was a gas, I mean, a car wash or something like that. And the layout, um, the type of ground that was covered, you never know the type of uh, people that was covered in it, if an actual shot was killed uh, or if he was already deceased. I haven't heard any information about autopsy, about, you know, how long he was deceased when... You know, the autopsy was commenced. All these are important type of questions I need to know to, you know, have a time of death on the alleged gunman. Okay, so we can know if it's not just um, a type of uh, false flag type of situation. And whereas when you have uh, the breadcrumbs uh, where, the, where you can manipulate breadcrumbs to fit your narrative. You know, because of uh, African liberation, you know, now you hear uh, black separatist terrorists, you know, you will hear people state, uh, you know, the, the, the dice dude who I'm just seeing on the on the video, you know, so um, I don't think that this should be a deterrence from people's contribution to the net as far as their ideas, as far as their grievances. Um, you know, you, 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 you know, you, you, right now I'm freestyling, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't written any of this right now, I'm not teleprompting it, sometimes that's appropriate so that people can, can see that you put some thought to it and you're not just rambling, but you have concerns about society, um, you, you have concerns about whatever you feel the issue is, you know, you want to do some research if you can and read up on it. But um, you don't want to be, you don't want to compromise or, or your, your, your First Amendment. You want to contribute to thought and give intelligent thought to it. You know, I've heard some of the brothers say, you know, stay your ass up off the Internet and all this type of stuff. You know, I've been chill on the Internet recent, but I don't necessarily say that should be what everyone should do as far as abandoning, contributing their voice, you know, um, um, assess the situation, be intelligent. Don't believe um, the mainstream, you know, um, we can't continue to accept police brutality. Um, we have to be empowered economically, can't get distracted from that vision. And with that being said, that's another reason why I'm about to be in a situation. If this job that I'm about to go with goes through, I'm going to be out the country. So I would like to have a situation where people can look back on my messages you know, as I continue to contribute videos, you can have an understanding of my resume as far as what I've done in renovating homes, what I've done and helping people create positive messages with hip hop. You know, how I've trained people electrically, how, you know, it's a lot of contributions. And I'm, I just turned 35, 31st of July, 2016. Um, um, my music. You know, I was watching one of the contributors, I believe it was Umar Johnson, say that the number two export in these in the country was music. And I was amazed by that. And I've been writing music for, you know, a lot of years. And I didn't know that it was that big of an export. That You know, I'm not, I, I, I believe it, 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 that's possible. But I never really sat back and uh, assessed that. It's really underserved when you look at it in that capacity. You really think it's, you know, people say it's a whole lot of rappers, but of course we know that they are potent as it needs to be. And so, um, with that being said, you know, even with those brothers, when you know, when you know that, when he made a statement like that and said that, hey, this is number two export, and in, in, in all of their presentations, they're underserving that export because they're not presenting this talent. 
Okay, when you watch Progressive Griff, I've been listening to a lot of his audios. You know, he shout out Ice T and a lot of these industry people. They always get back to shouting out the industry people. And sometimes I do that. You know, we grew up with them. You know, we don't want to. You know, we, we, we 